This video distinguishes how we use the words divide and division in everyday use versus how we use these in math. We know that in math all the parts created during a division must be equal size to each other and that we only keep one part. We show that these definitions are required in order for division to be the inverse operation of multiplication. We note that division refers to the parts created and not the actual cuts in a single whole object. We show how division applies to collections of objects. We recommend that students view the video the evening before you present the material in class. That way, they'll already be familiar with key concepts and vocabulary. The video's free engagement worksheet is available in many formats including paper as well as digital ones such as Google Forms and Canvas. Digital formats let you quickly identify common errors, and they may automatically enter individual scores into your gradebooks.